Hello everybody, my name is Harry Winkle and today I'm going to be showing you all guys my, you all, words. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my old art journal, which I, I think I stopped using about last year. And, um, it, on the front there's some artwork, it shows a softball, a volleyball, and a basketball, and it's connected to a triangle, it has the Deathly Hallows symbol in the middle, there's a flower, and then there's my Pokemon, and then it says, if found, call, you know, the number that I'm going to cover out. Then it says, my art journal, and then it says, please respect my privacy. So let's go ahead and start going through it. So I think I started using this about in 6th grade, so... Yeah, this is it's kind of current, but it's still old because I haven't used it in a few months. But yeah, so it starts off, and I was really into like concept art at the time, like drawing something and putting a little message beside it. So I drew Foxy. It says the loneliest people smile the brightest in all sorts of different fonts. And on over here, like it used to be, this book was supposed to be like a regular. Um, it used to be a regular. What am I trying to say? This book used to be a regular um, notebook. It was supposed to be that. That's why I had um, cause the schedule there. And I'll put, just put art all day, every day. Yeah, that's what I put. So that was my first drawing. And then the next one in it is a drawing. These drawings are not very good, but it's a drawing of a wolf. And it says, throw me to the wolves and I will turn leading the pack. And it has like a wolf howling at the moon. Pretty cool. Next, oh, this one I drew right after the movie came out. It's a Frozen, and it shows Olaf chasing his head, and it says, True love is putting someone else before yourself, and it shows Olaf, and it, there it is. Next, I drew at Great Wolf Lodge. I just drew it because I was bored, and I was inspired by um, to the Quake's Little Valentine video, like how to do Valentines, so I just drew that. And it says cup of love. It's like a little cup with little hearts. Next we have this is back when I was like really Tumblr obsessed. So I drew a Tumblr distressed arrow and had to like label it. So yeah, there's that. And now Taylor Swift quote. Um I just learned how to draw like this really pretty flower, as you see in the middle. And on top it says rose garden filled with thorns, and then there's like thorns going all the way around it. I don't really like this drawing, but I mean, it's decent. Oh, and this is the one where I made my own emoji. It shows an alien with like the hand from the one girl, and then the a jersey and a flower crown on, and it says normal people scare me. Even though I don't watch American Horror Story, I just like that quote. Next. Oh, my anime stage. This was back in the back when I used to like watch anim anime every day, all day. And I just drew that, and then it says shine bright like a diamond. And then I drew, oh, this looks very disproportioned. This girl's supposed to be wearing a crop top, but it looks like her jeans are like down here. Like it looks like her jeans are really saggy. And it's just, it's a silhouette. It doesn't have her face or anything. And it just says hashtag 2K16. And it, like her braids falling out, yep. Yeah. Okay, this one's a really good one. It shows Mickey Mouse says, Let's just keep moving forward, Walt Disney. Again, I was very into concept art at the time. Oh yes, this drawing, we're reading The Hunger Games in 7th grade. And I didn't completely finish outlining this drawing. But it says, uh, the kawaii games, and it shows Katniss and Peeta being very kawaii. And it says, let's eat the berries, yay! And so I drew kawaii, Katniss, and Peeta. Ooh, this is a good one. And um, you guys know the song Burn by Ellie Goulding. And it says, we're gonna let it burn. And it shows both Charmander and Charmeleon. And there's a Pokeball. So, I should have done that one for Squirtle and all them. Oh, this drawing is horrible. It's a little Minecraft drawing. I free-handed it. I didn't have a source. That's why it looks terrible. So I just like drew that in my free time. And I drew a little chest and everything. Oh, another anime drawing. Okay, so it says nerd is the word. It has like a little anime, anime girl there. And her shirt says games and she has a Pikachu hat on. Okay. Oh, I, this drawing is kind of weird. It was inspired by like, we were in um, history class and it was ancient history. And we were studying like these Japanese system, um, those symbols, how they changed over time. 
So I did it and I drew this little girl, like not little, but I drew her as a ninja. And I put the little signs on the side and made a little prophecy. And it says, the sun will drain, the sun will rain down upon the fields and cause eternal night forever. Because this sign means sun. This sign means rain. This sign means fields. I don't know if you guys can see that. But like the top sign on both of them. Like this is one prophecy that was like really, I think this is the older one and this is the newer one. But the top one means sun. The next one after the top one means rain. The one after that means fields. And the one after that means night. And then after that it says, but a warrior will save us. I was like thinking of Wendy Wu when I made this. You know, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. Oh, here's a good one. It's my divergent drawing. And it says, I am selfless, I am brave. And then it says, I am dauntless, I am a negation. And over here, it's just Tris with her hair up. Again, it was a little silhouette drawing no faces or anything. Over here, it's just Tris with her hair down and cut. And then the knife in her hand. And, you know, the dauntless. Where, and in the middle, it says, I am divergent. So I like that. Okay. Next, we have our Hunger Games drawing. So over here, we have Katniss, one with the flames. This is how I interpreted Katniss before I saw the movie. So we have Katniss with her dress with the flames on, and then in the flames you have her with her arrow. And then we have the Mockingjay over here, because I kind of gave up halfway through. I was like, okay, Katniss is drawn, I give up. It says the, fl it says the flame, the signal, it's just Mockingjay, and then at the bottom it says we're okay. Okay. After that, we have like a little compilation. I tried to draw a compilation, but it didn't work. So just drew a bunch of stuff randomly. Like we have a Polaroid, a sign that says live, a sign that says Chanel, a little eyeball, an apple attire, a heart emoji, a sticker, I think, a sun, a compass, a basketball, an orange, an American flag, a softball, a peace sign, a DNA strand, a flower, and a handcuffs. Don't know where that came from. Okay, so this one I again drew in my free time. It just shows a ski goggles and it says I heard you ski at the top. Skiing and canoe, uh, um, kayaking are my favorite sports. Animu girl again. We have an animu girl with a teddy bear. So that's all there is to that one. Okay, so at the time I was kind of into game design so I made my own game and I called it Quest for King's Blood and then it says choose your kingdom. It's kind of like Horde and Alliance. So we have paraloids over here, which are the snake sign, and the zegrots over here, which are kind of the spiders. Yay. Oh, this is a good one. So at the top it says, Charlie, Charlie, can we play? And at the bottom, it shows Charlie with the sombrero on and a Mexican vest. And I don't know if you can tell, but his necklace has like the Satan star. And it says, yes, let's play the mariachi and eat tacos. Oh, gosh. That was awful. Oh, here's one. Stitch. I had a phone case with him on it, and I just decided to sketch it, you know, like that. Next we have Harry Potter. I made him cross-eyed, but this is how he looked on the um, Goblet of Fire book. So I just sketched that. Next we have a little sketch of a Halloween costume I was putting together at the time. Ooh. Ooh. And here is a drawing of my friend Alyssa. She wanted me to draw, so I did. I was really awful at the time, so like, excuse me. And then, you see where that went? Swirlies. Bunch of swirls. And then, my teacher was trying to get me to design something for Google, because like they had this competition where you had to make like Google logos, you know how they change a lot. I decided to make a geek Google. So the G is Tetris. The O's they're connected and make the Harry Potter glasses and then the thing is up there. At the bottom it says geek with the G connecting to it. And then the L is a paintbrush. And then the E is the Hunger Games Mockingjay symbol. Okay, now we have Tinkerbell, which I just kind of drew in my free time. Not very good. Oh, this is what I'm proud of. I did not use pencil for this, which made me freak out. So this is just a plain old pen sketch. I think it's pretty good for a pen sketch. I really regret like not blending. I really regret putting like the shade above his eyebrow, above his eyes, and not like just under it. But I think that's pretty good for just pen. Okay, now comes the tattoos, which are like the only thing. In class, I was bored one day. It was like 
near the end. So I just drew a treble clef with a heartbeat coming out of it. These are like a bunch of tattoos which are really pretty. Um, the infinity side with like one arrow on this side and one on that side, which I think is beautiful. Um, this where it just says, it has all the signs of music. It says, has the back words, uh, pause, play, plus word, and shuffle. So there's that. Oh, this one's good. Every breath is a second chance. It shows a little dandelion and birds. It's like dandelions turning into birds. That one's really pretty. I saw it on the back. And here's a paper airplane flying. Cute. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... And then, of course, just the Deathly Hollows sign. Oh, and I think this is the last one. This one I just kind of free-handed. It is an elephant just blowing out little magic. And I think that's it for my old sketchbook. Let me check. Yep. That's all I got. So I'm probably going to be filling this up a bit more. I got like this much. Oh, at the back it says Brianna was here and she loves you. Thanks. You so much. So anyway, that was me going through my old um, art journal. If you guys want to see my new art journal and me going through that, please leave a like. If this video gets to two likes, I will do that. And anyway, thank you all so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.